<laughs> Probably helps to record this. You ready for holiday music? Sort of. I'm not. I don't. I don't love holiday music for some reason. Da -da 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 -da. Stop singing, Dad. Welcome to the vlog and happy Thursday. I think today, woo, we talk a little bit about success and what it takes and the falsehood and myths that some people think or whatever else comes up during the day. In this moment, yes, I cannot say what's wrong or Jerry Maguire, yeah, it's like 20 years ago, maybe more, but the famous scene, show me the money, and he goes crazy. And he, But earlier in the movie, he writes this manifesto. He has this big idea how he wants to change the company. Last night, I had a little bit of a mini moment like that, and I had this idea in my head, and I sat down, and I put all these ideas together. So as that progresses, I'll share what comes out of that right here on this vlog. Nothing too... Nothing too terribly exciting going on so far today, but it's still early, getting a lot of things done as far as work goes, plugging away. But in this game of life, a lot of times we're trying to figure out what is, what's the secret of success? And I think success can be labeled and defined in, in so many different ways. You have to answer what that is for you. Looks like someone's getting their yard work done though across over at the neighbors. Looks like, uh, I'm a little behind the eight ball here, but it's so cold out, uh, I don't think it's happening. Finally getting out of these clothes, these workout clothes, and I'm uh, gonna change and head to the mall, I think, a little bit. Lissa and I are doing this photo shoot Sunday. It's one of the side hustles that I'm doing, and I'm helping her get into the game as well. That's gonna be used for our, more of our professional grade, um, what are we, comp card, I think we call it. So we can send that off to more clients. Nothing can stop me. No. Cause I'm addicted to what you and I real. Before I head out, I want to touch on the success definition that I have just briefly. And then eventually I want to get into those. There's three C's that I think are very, very important as far as success goes in life and in general and you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Success to me boils down to a couple of things. Relationships, happiness with your career, really like more passionate towards the career, and then travel and time freedom basically. Mix all those together and you have a good mix of all three of those. That's success to me because then you're you're really enjoying things. And another part of it I think is that the career and the personal life meld together in, in a almost one and the same. You have certain boundaries, but you really enjoy the career and you also, they say, one example is you go traveling, which they seem to be doing in some of this anyway. You're traveling and you are not necessarily on vacation, you're, you're kind of working, but you're enjoying it as a vacation, if that makes any sense. On second thought, every single uh, Chris, on second thought, every single winter I go through, it seems to be a little colder than the previous one. I'm sure it has nothing to do with me. It's completely the weather, but I'm heading back. It's just not worth it tonight to uh, run around and see even icy roads. So if you're not from the north, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Back to the topic at hand. There are, there are three things. Yes, I have gloves on. Confidence, clarity, and communication. Not necessarily in that order. I think they are confidence first, communication, or actually, it could be an argument there. Clarity could probably maybe even be the first, but confidence, clarity, communication. If you have those three, I think you can do pretty much everything in life because that is the foundation to success in many areas. Back in the studio, I want to clarify these three C's once again and kind of how I see them. I think it goes clarity, confidence, communication. Because without the clarity, you probably won't be as confident. And then without as confident, or being as confident, you won't communicate your messages. Let's take public speaking as an example. Most people hate it. 
they'd rather die than public speak. That's kind of the thing we always hear about. But why is that? Because they may not really be clear on what their message is. They're not confident what that message is. And then last, they can't really communicate that. If you are supposed to speak on a topic of, I don't know, let's say football, and you don't know anything about it, and thus you're not going to be any, you're not going to be confident about it. You're not going to be able to to really communicate anything on that message. When I think of this, I think of my girls a lot, and this is Melissa, Eric, if you're watching this, I know you follow me. <laughs> is if you can communicate, and this goes for all young women, you know, growing up and moving into college and beyond, and and guys as well, and, and pretty much everyone, but as young women especially. Confidence is, is huge. If you're confident and you know really what you want to accomplish in life, or if you're not really sure, even that's probably even a bigger one, is you have that confidence to take a chance and do something different and and just be willing to face the fears and, and tackle them along the way. That takes a lot of confidence, standing tall, and be able to communicate and connect with other people. Did you hear that? Number four, connect. Connect, connect, connect. I'm not going to ramble on anymore, but that's a big thing with me as it keeps coming back is if you build a solid foundation with certain skills, communication especially, and confidence, you're standing tall, you can do so many things in life. Since I didn't make it to all the stores tonight, it's a little cold, I'll tackle them tomorrow, but a little accessory for Sunday is a little shoot, I can't wait for that. I'm going to take the camera and we're going to be doing as much behind the scenes as well to uh, just show you what that's all like. It's going to be new for me as well. I've done some of these before, but this will be brand new taking it up a notch. That's the vlog for today. Make sure you subscribe, follow along the journey, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.